Since December 20th, the 10th best record in the NBA, 14 and 8, and they had a 22 point win against Indiana. How the lineup is put together, I think, at some point with the pace. And Jeremy Lamb has the basket. He had 11 last night. Something else to go awry. And Brogdon gets the loose ball. Bad pass by Holiday. And TJ Warren is on the board straight games of 20 or more points and he's been pretty dynamic in coming into the NBA early on and the basket by Brogdon. The Raptors they won 13 straight, 10 straight on the road. Lamb inside. Ellie the catch in the corner. And Favors got it. Well I'll tell you what it's a heck of a play. Down to three. Lamb escapes. Out behind the arc with a long three, and he banks it in. Right, let's hope that's a good sign. Favors. They whip it now to Hart for three. George Hart. Basketball day, Indiana. The four games in Kokomo at Memorial Gym. Bob Knight returns as. I thought really should have won the game in Toronto. The one here was just. Well, my, I told you, he's a really good player. He's just young. And has left him on the floor because he's got his offense going. And now that's blocked, but put in by Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. Holiday mishandles the ball. Shot clock down to five. Off the screen. He's going to take it in and loft it up and in. That was a really tough shot. Missed the Dallas and the two Toronto games. Misses, both, or misses the free throw. And Ball racing down the floor, lays it in. Totally open block. Favors is back in, so to a Sabonis to start this quarter. And Reddick gives New Orleans a seven-point lead. Yeah, and a good opportunity, I think, at some point. He threw that right by McConnell. And anticipated by Holiday on the other side. Here comes Aaron. Trailing McDermott for three. This was a really important play for Aaron Holiday and for the people to see. Just as, as well as it had been going just about two weeks ago, it's just been a little bit more of a struggle now. He is 10th in the NBA at 43%, and inside the arc, Reddick. Ellie is a rookie out of Italy. He's 29 years old. And count the basket and a foul. Too easy. Lamb had 12 first quarter points. He's back in. Brogdon as well. There you go. That nice little rhythm. It's a rhythm that you have to play with. Shot clock down to seven. And Ball hits the shot. Despite losing to the Raptors twice, out rebounded them. Yeah, and that's why you thought it was going to be, you know, this is going to work out. How about that shot there by TJ Warren? Drives on Hart. Reverse layup. Missed it. He pulled over the back there. I didn't expect to see that. And now Hart in transition. 4-3. Josh Hart. Second of the night for Josh Hart. And Hart again. This time short. Brogdon running. Pushes ahead to Warren. And Warren lays it in. Terrific job. Looking it right. Throwing it left. Just have not looked fluid offensively. And now Turner in the choice. corner. Wise choice, though, by Sabonis. He does not know balance. Well, it's to have to call a timeout, Chris. You really do. And now Lamb finds Sabonis down the lane, lays it in. Two lead changes, one tie. The Pacers led 24-23. That's it. Reddick has 14 off the bench and adds three more. He comes in and lights it up right off the bench. The second half of a back to back, so Nate did not even get to see or have dinner with Jamel. So they talked on the phone. They'll greet before and after the game, and then they'll continue on with life in the NBA. Pacers are down just by two now. Ball along three. That is something he did not have when he was a Lake. You got a matchup, you got to see it. And, and Sabonis has his hands up. Looking for it. Lamb goes inside of the rim, uses his length to lay it in. New Orleans now shooting 39%. The Pacers at 46. Warren ties it. Four offensive rebound. Warren leads in, finds Sabonis. There you go. Don't pass. Three-point range. Devonta Sabonis. That's his 13th made of the year. Nelly for three. 
I mean, the Pacers just cannot get that consistent stop. Lost to Purdue. My Westfield Shamrocks lost to Fishers, and Jeremiah Johnson's Peru Tigers lost as well. Melly has made back-to-back -back threes, and New Orleans leads by three. Nice pass, and Warren on the cut, scores. Took advantage, advantage of Melly. Anthony Davis, played in L.A. with the Lakers. Reddick kicks it out, Hart for three. And they've got the lead again, that's his third. Because Favors has four fouls, Hayes off the bench has five, and it's been a quiet Holiday. night for that guy, Drew Holiday, but he has points number seven and eight. 75-73, the Pacers, they've just not been able to get any separation when they've gotten into a situation to take a lead, and they tie it at 75. Oh, he walked. And another three. He lost, he lost control of the ball. Made 12 threes, and time and time again on the offensive glass, they have out-rebounded the Pacers 41-28. Brogdon, the basket, and the foul. Bonus has come back in for Turner. Make him pay. Deflection on the pass. Great effort. Great oh, effort. blocked away, but they'll count it. Goaltending. Great effort. He got back. Point lead for Toronto. Trying to win their 14th straight. Adding on to a franchise record. And McConnell, his first basket. Oka four. I'll tell you who set the screen that caused the pop. Zion is really good. Shot clock is off as we end the quarter. Drew Holiday fades, scores, and a foul. Q, there's a turnover. That's Sumner who just broke that pass up that was going to uh, more. You've got the three-point shooters in, and Holiday and McDermott, and Justin hits it. And Reddick, J.J. Reddick's the lead. These guys get one out. Can the Pacers get the loose ball? They do. Got they have numbers. a four on one. Smart play. Really good basketball there. Holds on to that dribble. Now a screen comes from McDermott. Reverse layup, McConnell. Really good speed there. And the Pacers get another stop. They can't. Lonzo Ball, his first points of the second half. Just over seven minutes to play. Ball and a three-point from New Orleans lead. For Lamb, ball bounce just enough on a second bounce. The Pacers that there was no expectation to get the rebound. And look at who hits a three. Drew Holiday to take this with Melly. That's the one you have to worry about. Polo Melly sets the screen. Holiday goes to the baseline. Favors scores, and it's a three point lead. Man, fires it out to Turner. Here's a three by Miles. It's yeah, perfect. That's a good, look. good look. Ready. Pacers nearly came up with a loose ball. Reddick in the corner. Nice recovery by Lamb. And Reddick has it fall in. That the opponent has made 12 4. 2 11 to play. Sabonis got it. It's a one point game. Basketball day, Indiana. That's what we're having here in the NBA. Drew Holiday. Two more. Against Turner. He looks at the shot clock. Attacks the rim. And it's a five point New Orleans lead. Pacers had success. About ready to go down on this basketball day, Indiana. A three, and that may shut the door. An eight point lead for the Pelicans. If that's what the Pacers are going to be talking about. They talk about the game against Brooklyn. And the New Orleans Pelicans sweep the season series. Alvin Gentry gets win number 502.